Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just to clear things up, I'm the original Buttercup. Buckle up, Buttercup! Okay, she's not lying. This is my baby. This is my first <laughs> baby. She's the original Buttercup. And she's almost 16 years old this mm -hmm. year. And she's starting to get more interest in cars. I wonder why that is. I mean, she did say, Mom, can you buy me my first car? And what kind of car was that? A McLaren Sina. Hey, yeah, <laughs> let me just shell out the Millies for you. No problem. But since she's getting more into cars and she still likes to hang out with Mom, I thought now would be the perfect opportunity to just do a video together and maybe teach her a couple things. Now, I know you're all going to be asking her, is Buttercup 2.0 going to be Kyla's? And what's the answer to that? No. Why? Because they're too, it's just too big. For it's me. too big? Yeah. So do you not want a Bronco at all or you just don't want that Bronco? A Bronco Sport would be better because it's Bronco smaller. A Bronco Sport. Mm -hmm. So a little Buttercup Junior for my little Buttercup Junior. <laughs> but in today's video, this is almost like a headlight battle part three because yet again, I have found another headlight option for the Ford Bronco. So what we have here is the OLM headlights. Now these are different than any of the headlights I've ever put on Buttercup. They're more what I call a Porsche style headlight. And Kyla, I think that was your number two mm -hmm. car yep. pick of, hey mom, can you get me one of these? Um, you know what? I hope by December I can. So I'm just gonna say that out into the <laughs> world. Uh, but I would compare these to more of a Porsche style headlight because they have these like four little like oval lights and then this Bronco bar here, but you don't have a halo. So anyway, I think it's just gonna be easier to see once we get it all installed. I'll show you some daytime footage of what it looks like. And then of course tonight we will revisit, show you some nighttime footage and then just see how far they project. Do they measure up to the winner so far, which is the Alpha Rex headlights? Those have been the clear winner for me multiple times. If you guys missed any of those other videos, you can find them by clicking up above or in the description below. Those headlight battles included Form Lighting, Alpha Rex, Oracle Oculus, and Morimoto's. And of course you can get all of those at buckleupoffroad.com. See, she's learning. She can buy her own car. <laughs> Since I've done so many headlight installation videos, this is not gonna be a step-by-step. -step. If you need a step-by-step -step headlight installation video, you can always click above. I will have an installation video for you to follow. But today, Kyla is going to help me with the installation. So let's go ahead and get these things thrown on. Oh, and we gotta undo this. Look at that! Part one done! Okay, we're gonna kind of go like this. And just set it on top there. Like that. Such a proud mom. <sighs> All right. Well, it's done. It wasn't too bad for your first no. install. What do you think about the headlights? I like them. They're pretty cool. They are very different looking. I'm going to turn the car on and just show you what they look like during the day on. A couple things to note about these headlights. They aren't just like a plug and play headlight. It was a little bit different of an installation. You did have to wire them directly to the battery um, and you know they provided all the wiring harnesses and the instructions for that. But let's turn it on and see what these headlights look like. Now I'm going to actually turn the headlights on. Ooh, they look pretty bright. I'm really interested to see how these compare with my Alpha Rex headlights because I thought those were very, very bright. But we can't really do any of that kind of testing till it's nighttime. 
So we're gonna just kind of chillax for the next couple hours until the night comes and rolls around. And we'll get you some shots of this, you know, how far they project. But overall, I think the looks are really, really cool. What do you think, Kyla? Come over here. What do you think about it? I like them. They're really different looking. They're very they're different. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Bronco with these on them, like just out in public. Like yeah. I'm trying to think at Super Celebration, I don't think I saw anyone run these kind of headlights. So they're maybe not well known and maybe they will be after today's video. I don't know, but let's wait a little bit and then we'll see what they look like at night. Not gonna lie, these lights are pretty cool and they really go well with my current setup. The fact that there's some amber in it along with the white really goes great with my trail sight lights and my grill lights. I'm gonna change the settings on my phone. First, I wanted to do this setting so you can really see clearly what the headlights look like. This setting shows, you know, it is pretty bright. I'm trying to reduce the glare as much as possible but it is a completely different look than what you would expect from a Bronco headlight. Here are the lights from the driver's point of view. This is just the regular headlights and then these are with the bright beams on. Very bright. You can see very far down the road. I'm really impressed. And then you do have the option with these headlights to do sequential turn signal or just do a regular turn signal. I'm gonna turn that on. Looks good. These headlights are really cool. They give the Bronco a very different and unique look. I personally think this would look really great with the hex grill that I had on my Bronco the other day. I think these lights are really cool. If you're wanting to be more out of the box and not as common as everyone else, these lights are gonna make that statement. I don't think I've ever seen these type of headlights on a Bronco out at the many shows I've ever been to, but I think they're really cool. They are bright. The installation's, you know, not plug and play like other ones, but it's not difficult. And honestly, the looks are amazing. So if you guys are interested in a set of these, I offer these on my website at buckleupoffroad.com, plus many other headlights and Bronco gear that you may want, but that's gonna wrap it up. Until next time, guys, buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up, buttercup!